Hello students, today we will be going over one and two step equations B. This is a purple worksheet that I should have already passed out. So here's number one, x over five equals negative eight over five. Now, if you see a negative in the middle, like right there on your paper, I would move it up and make sure it's with the uh, top number or the numerator. We never leave a negative on the bottom, okay? So in order to get x by itself, we need to get rid of this. It's x divided by five. So we do the inverse operation. So instead of divide, we're gonna multiply. So if I multiply by five, and I do that on both sides of the equation, and I cancel this out, and I'm left just with the x. So x equals, that cancels out with that five, x equals negative eight. Okay, you must show your work to get credit for this. You must show the multiply by five on both sides of the equation. Next, we're gonna go on to number two, x over five equals two. Here it has a five on the bottom, there's my variable. So I'm gonna multiply by five here because it's divided by five. Whatever I do on one side of the equation, I have to do on the other. So then five times that will cancel out. X equals two times five is 10. Then I'm gonna jump down to number five. And because you can do three and four on your own, um, I can also pause the video while you work on those two. Or we can just jump to number five. Here's the variable, eight times k equals negative 96. So eight times k, this is where the variable is. So I divide by the number in front of the variable because that's multiplied. Whatever I do on one side of the equation, I do on the other. Now, if I want to do it on my handy dandy calculator, I'm going to put 96 and then I'm going to put the plus minus, make sure it says negative 96, put the divide eight equals, and there's my answer. So negative 12 equals K. And I like to switch it around so the variable's always on the left. And if I want, I can go back and check it. Negative 12 times eight equals negative 96. That's correct, so I've done it correctly. Okay. Oh, can you see that okay? Next, we're gonna go on to number six. So we see that negative 16. Many students are gonna see, oh, I'm just gonna add 16. That would be incorrect because it's negative 16 times K. So then, I have to do the opposite of multiplication, which is what? Divide, yes. So I divide by whatever's in front of K. Nothing's in between, so it's multiplication. So I divide by negative 16. Divide negative 16. That will go away. And K equals Again, we take our handy dandy calculator. I'm gonna put 416, make sure I put it in there properly, divide by 16, and I'm gonna make it a negative, equals negative 26. And you're done, okay? Next, I'm going to go on to the sum on the back side. Number 13. Okay, I think you can see that okay. So on this one, we have to use the distributive property. We have parentheses up here. So we're going to go 9 times 12 and 9 times x. Remember, if nothing is in front of x, it's a 1x. So if you need what would like to change that, we can change it like that. So 9 times 12 is 108 plus 1 times 9 is 9 with the x. OK, 
Okay, oops, I forgot the line down here. Again, I'm trying to solve for x, so I'm trying to get rid of what's ever around here. So we do PEMDAS backwards after the distributor property. So I'm going to minus 108. This is positive, so I can just go minus 108. Whatever I do on one side of the equation, I have to do on the other. I make sure this, see how this is positive? If this had been subtraction, it would have been negative 9x here. No subtraction, so we just go 9x equals 117 minus 108 is 9. And since it's 9 times x, I divide. And x equals 1. Okay, I'm going to jump and uh, let you do 14 on your own, and I'll go to 15. This one's kind of weird with a fraction in the middle, and this is where the variable is. So I have to get rid of this 2. Since it's positive, I'm going to go minus 2 here. Whatever I do on this side of the equation, I have to do over here. I bring this down, watching that sign. If it's subtraction, it'll be negative x over 24. But it's addition. So then I go x over 24 equals 1 minus 2, negative 1. Now it's divide by 24, so I do the inverse operation times by 24. Whatever I do over here, I do over there on the other side. And you're done. Okay, now I'm going to go on to 16. The first thing I want to do is the distributor property. 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times x is 4x. Now i got to get rid of the 20, just like I got rid of the 108. Whatever I do on this side of the equation, I have to do over here. Watching that sign, if it's positive, I don't need to worry about it. Negative 4 minus 20, negative 24. And again, solving for x, it's 4 times x, so I do the inverse operation. So x equals negative 6. All right. Now we're going to go further down here. 17 has, oh, a big old fraction. So this means it's divided by 3. So what I'm going to do to get rid of this, again, I'm trying to solve for x. First thing I need to do is get rid of this. So it's divided by 3. This is one of the exceptions where you don't do PEMDAS backwards first because we have to get rid of this because it's a big old fraction. So I multiply 3 here and multiply 3 over there. That will cancel out with that one, and I'm left with just as what's on top. Negative 5 plus x equals negative times 9 times 3 is negative 27, and then I add 5. Now, can you see that okay? Yep, you can. Making sure this is positive. Okay, battle or a party? It's a battle, so we subtract 22, and the negatives win the battle. It's got the most guys, so there you go. X equals negative 22. Now we're going to go ahead and do this one over here. This time this is divided by 5, so I'm going to multiply this side by 5. Multiply this side by 5. That's hard to see, but it cancels with that 5. And I'm left with n plus 10 equals 5 times 2 is 10. Then I subtract 10. Now I like to put the number back in the original equation. 0 plus 10 is 10 divided by 5 is 2. So I, that way I can check it. Okay, students, you can get the rest of this. You rock.